Hey guys, um, today I just want to talk a little bit about the keto diet and what my thoughts are on it. Um, but yeah, as you know, I just recently got back from vacation. I feel very refreshed and uh, yeah, I was ready to take on the huge workload that waited for me when I got back to work. And I still have more next week. Anyways, today I'm going to talk a little bit about keto. And the first time I heard about it was a couple of years back from a bodybuilding friend that I know was on keto and I never really bothered to look it up uh, until sometime earlier this year when everybody everybody and their grandmother or their dog I knew was doing this thing and it is a high fat very low carb diet and pretty much most people I know who are following it religiously they have very few to no carbs I think like under 21 grams a day or something like that um, and pretty much uh, any sort of grain or fruit is eliminated for that from that diet, and um, yeah, I uh, have a lot of friends who started doing it, and to me, um, I feel like the keto diet isn't really much different than the Atkins diet. It is a diet fad when used for dieting purposes to lose weight. Um, I've done a lot of research on it reading all kinds of different articles and initially when the thing the diet first started becoming a huge deal there's all kinds of this positive research about it I was really just really looking through everything I can find and so basically from what I understand when you go super low carbs your body switches from um, using carbs as energy uh, to fat and so that's why it's a high fat diet and very low carb diet and basically it puts your body into starvation mode um, and so that's why people drop a lot of weight a lot of weight very quickly and when you think about it it's not healthy at all and just recently there have been a lot of articles surfacing for people who are using this as a lifestyle diet that it's actually not that healthy. Um, I know that medically it makes sense for those who are very obese and people who need to dro drop a lot of weight quickly. Uh, it's very beneficial for that. But originally the keto diet started off being used uh, to treat people with uh, I believe epilepsy and seizures and whatnot. I, th I think especially in children. So it was formulated back in the early 1900s. Um, but very recently, a lot of people are using it as a way to lose weight. And why that's a problem is that when you think about it, it's not really that much different than any other fad diet. It, it, it's really not because um, if you're not doing this for a medical problem or for medical reasons, what's going to happen to you when you go back, when you lose that weight? What's going to happen to you when you go back to normal weight, weight eating? You're going to gain that weight back and then some. And it's also a diet that you really should, number one, talk to your doctor about. And you should also be monitored by a doctor because it is extremely restrictive. Um, I totally support the paleo diet because at least that uh, will include uh, fruit and things like that. So like it's otherwise known as the caveman diet. So it's a little bit less restrictive. It's not so severely restrictive uh, because really... For most of us, who can go without eating fruit uh, or dessert or any sort of grain for life? Nobody. Um, so yeah, unless you are doing this for a medical reason, you're not going to stick to it. And any diet that you start um, should be a lifestyle change because that's what's going to keep get you those results. That's what's going to keep you those results keep getting you that those results so that is kind of how I feel about the keto diet I mean I know that there's medical reasons people do it but I'm so sick of hearing about people who are doing it just to lose weight and I understand if you are obese and your doctor has you doing this diet because you know for you you really need to lose those pounds quick I totally get that but for the average person who needs to lose 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds, it doesn't make sense. 
just need to exercise and you need to have a balanced diet. You need to be uh, eliminating those processed foods because those, those are the things that are going to put the weight on. Those sodas, those cakes, cookies, McDonald's, whatever it is. Those are the things that um, are going to pack on the pounds as well as portion sizes and whatnot. Stuff like that. Um, and when you put your body into such a state, like starvation mode, not very healthy. So that's why I say you really should talk to your doctor about it. It really should be monitored by a doctor. And the doctors that I've spoken to, um, for weight maintenance and maybe for those people who just need to lose 10 to 50 pounds, um, the Mediterranean diet is actually a very heart healthy diet. It's worked for a lot of people who have cardiovascular problems and it works really well. So it has a lot of those healthy fats. And another thing that I see people doing with the ketogenic diet is that they are binging on bacon um, and bacon in moderation is fine. Um, but all the time, all that heavy grease, a lot of people I know like they'll ask for extra grease because it's a high fat diet. You need to get all that high fat in. But the problem is people with, on the keto diet um, don't understand that there is a difference between healthy fats and fats that come from very processed food, food that has a, has a bunch of chemicals in it like bacon. Um, bacon has all kinds of different, is linked to all kinds of different other health problems when you consume it um, in like very huge portions uh, in excess and stuff like that. Um, and not to say that, you know, don't eat bacon. I like bacon myself, um, but you know, moderation. Um, and a lot of people I know, they're, they're having huge steaks. Um, they're having a ton of cheese. They're having heavy cream. And so like, and a lot of those things, um, people are eating because they're high in fat. And there is, there is good fat and then there's bad fat of course and contrary to popular belief fat doesn't make you fat so let's just get that out of the way fat doesn't make you fat but the type of fat that people on the ketogenic diet are eating um, to excess is not very healthy and eating anything in excess is not healthy as well as get cutting food groups from your diet isn't healthy and it's not something you can stick with um, and keto also reminds me a lot of the Atkins diet that was a a huge thing and I think I think the 90s and early 2000s uh, the Atkins diet was a huge thing um, and very very similarly uh, the person Dr. Atkins who had created that diet had died and he was very obese um, so anyways um, the only difference between the Atkins diet and the keto diet that from my understanding is that the Atkins diet is a high protein and low carb diet versus the ketogenic diet is a high fat and um, low carb diet. Um, but yeah, so if you are considering doing something like the keto diet, um, do your research and you must, must, I can't emphasize this enough, talk to your doctor, you know, because um, it is a diet that you should be monitored on while you're doing it. Um, because yeah, any sort of fad diet, diet pills, you know, anything else like that, I mean, it's not healthy for your for your body. I mean, there are I'm sure worse things out there, um, but yeah, putting your body into starvation mode, um, and if it's not for a medical reason, is a is a no go. So I would kind of advise against it. I would advise on eating a more balanced, um, clean diet, which is a healthy more more have a healthier way of going about it, and you're more likely to stay successful with that. So yeah. There is that. Um, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I just decided I want to make a video about it because everybody that I know is doing it. And being a health and fitness coach, it just I'm not a nutritionist, but it bothers me. <laughs> um, just because a lot of people don't see anything wrong with it. Um, but yeah, in the long run, there are... There are um, health risks and potential side effects with that. So it is something that you do want to talk to your, your doctor about. Um, is uh, just for doing it for diet reasons, just to lose weight. You want to lose that 10, 15 pounds. Um, yeah, it's, it's a fad diet. And 
there are articles coming out that um, are supporting the fact that it is more beneficial used for an, its original purpose, which is treating epilepsy. And uh, so that's something that you want to look up, you want to read up on about. But uh, yeah, for people who are just looking to lose a few pounds, not really so healthy. So yeah, if you have any questions about it, um, I do have a Facebook group uh, where we talk about good eating and healthy eating habits. And uh, we have a fitness program. So yeah, if you are interested in that and you would like to get in shape the healthier way, and you'd like to know a little bit more about what we do, that would be great. Just leave me a message in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.